Hello Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose, uh, coming with your weekly reading for October 4th through the 10th, 2021. We're gonna start with who is guiding you. Please take this take this as it resonates, as this is for all Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. It's not a personal reading. So let's see. We have Archangel Azrael, and we have Mother Mary. Uh, two, I mean, I'm, all of the Ascendant Masters are wonderful. Um, you have Archangel Azrael and death and rebirth transitions. You're definitely going through a transitional period. I want to focus on the life changes because some very big life changes are happening for the majority of you Scorpios. Um, and you have Mother Mary, which is basically faith, purity of the heart. Um, there's also a gentleness about Mother Mary. Um, and the purity aspect is I feel like you need to be a pure mind and spirit for your own benefit, you know, not to focus on other people. I think this this is a time period as we close out the year that most signs need to um, do a lot of introspection. Uh, it is the shadow season and we need to get into that shadow work. So I'm just gonna be using my tarot cards and I'm gonna walk around my spirit board. Um, this is a custom spirit board. Um, my niece actually made it uh, for me based on um, based on some grid boards I have uh, for crystal gridding um, and I absolutely love this piece so let's walk across my spirit board here so I'm gonna basically do like a, a mini crosses here with you in the center your overall spirit or energy at this time All right so what's above you is justice which is wonderful to have and this goes into this life changes. There's gonna be a balance with what's beneath you, right? Because we are gonna go into Scorpio season and some celebrations here. You have the wheel um, to your left, the lover's card. So again, partnerships. And this is why in the beginning I said you need to focus on yourself uh, because you can't heal other people. You can't heal you know, your significant other. You need to um, focus in on yourself. I'm going to leave that in reverse. I normally don't read reversals, but I'm going to leave that in reverse. What's beneath you is the Six of Cups. And this makes perfect sense. And what's to the right of you is the Four of Cups. You have rebirth here, and here are your changes, right? This is the faith you, you need to have to guide you through these changes. So you're at a, you know, everyone on the planet is going through something. But specifically for you, Scorpio, I think we need to focus on yourself and not your relationships, even though that's important to you, right? If you're not in a relationship, you want to be in one. If you're in your relationship, you're putting your partner's thoughts, feelings, and dreams before you. You need to protect and nurture yourself at this time and go into that deep place and do that heart healing, right? Because this is why Mother Mary is present for you. Archangel... Azrael, in the beginning of the week, we're going to see some transitions, right? Now, I'm actually doing this the day before. So this is Sunday, October 3rd. I am doing this recording. Um, and it's very interesting um, that we have justice. There is going to be a rebalancing for you, but it's a, an emotional internal um, rebalancing of your thoughts, mind, and spirit. You are going through changes. And I feel like there's some... Those changes are not always supported by your partner, you know, friendships, relate, uh, parent, you know, whoever that close person is to you. It doesn't have to be a lover. You're not always feeling supported by the one you consider your partner in crime. Let's just say it like that. You know, you do have a lot of passions that are happening, right? And we are headed into your season in October. So things are waking up for you in your season. <laughs> You're really going to try to go after your passions and I want to tell you to to do it Do it to your benefit. That seems to be a theme with these readings um, Do it do something that makes you happy and not necessarily your partner happy Because there is a rebalancing right of Everyone on the planet and your partner's probably going through the same thing You have the wheel of fortune to the left of you. I mean, this is great to have um, it's good fortune. It's a turning point, right? So we have transitions and a turning point here. 
right? We have rebirth, another transition. It, this is going to be at the forefront for the beginning of the week. As we transition into um, the rest of the week, we're going to see how your partner is affected by them seeing the change. You don't even have to verbalize it. They're seeing the change in you and it's making them nervous and weary. And, you know, again, if they're at ease, your instinct is to try to take care of that person, right? There's a way to do it where you're still happy and that's through communication. So make sure that you are communicating the things that you need. You know, this Mother Mary spirit, be pure of heart. Tell them your intention. Tell them that your intention um, is to not necessarily move away from them or, you know, to cause upheaval, but to make yourself whole. You're having issues here feeling that your strength is being depleted. Am I strong enough to do this? Am I strong enough to do it without this person possibly? There's a lot of things floating in your mind and you really need to focus with what it is you want, right? The truth, raw truth, um, whether you're ready to face it or not. Start journaling. Journaling is very good. You don't have to be obnoxious with it. It could just be a sentence in the morning and a sentence at night. And then if you are inclined, then you can, you know, contribute more, but start slow. You know, you this transition is going to be difficult because you like the simpler things in life. You like, you like things to almost revert back to the past, but we can't, we cannot go backwards and we cannot recreate what was. We can only go forward and create what is or what is going to be because you're not the same person. You are different and that's okay. Here's another longing for the past card not understanding that the future is right there and it's not bad it's a great future it's full of um, abundance and love and emotion and financial but you have to seize it and that's knowing what you want and going through that transition <clears throat> i'm really feeling this like my heart is heavy uh doing this because i feel like your heart is heavy so let's give you some oracle card to close out this reading and again this is how my readings are going to go i know i had like a standard thing I, I may go back to that but i just want to be fluid uh that is where spirit is lead, leading me to i took some time off and i just want to connect with ease and not do things constantly the same you have uh Segeta, the storyteller intention I am the narrator of my life. I mean, I could not sum up my reading better. Uh, I may actually call it that. Uh, last card here, you have the Moonstone Star, the Alchemy. I am entering a portal of euphoric love. And this is euphoric love for yourself. She kind of looks like Zendaya, doesn't she? She's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I love this reading for you and um, I'm Delilah Rose and this is Delilah's Spiritual Spot.